What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we are doing a mask spotlight. Now, we did a video very similar to this not too long ago because I received two masks as gifts, along with a mask that I purchased from my buddy Lonnie, aka Larney, aka Laney, aka Fuck. Now, if you guys haven't seen the previous video from this little set of videos, I would highly recommend going and checking it out. He hooked us up with something so genuinely cool that I actually showed emotion in the video. So I will be dropping the link down below to that one. Make sure to go check it out. We took a look at the 2006 Beyond Hell Odorous Mask replica that he did, aka Yodorous. One of the goofier of the Odorous Urungus masks. Lonnie replicated that thing to an absolute T, even had a scalp rip on it, and it was just an absolutely amazing little piece. I gave my reasons as to why that was such a special odorist to have in my collection, but today we have yet another piece from Lonnie that means quite a lot to me. So, without further ado, I will go ahead and bring this guy up here, let you guys take a look at it. So, what we have here is going to be a Violence Has Arrived Odorous Urungus mask easily the angriest odorous Uranga sculpt that we ever saw. And the reason that this is so special is because it's not just a violence has arrived mask. This is also technically the war party odorous. The paint job here fits a little bit more along the lines of violence has arrived because it's a little less weathered, a little lighter in color. But odorous did wear this through into war party, which is my all time favorite Guar album ever. Easily the most pissed off Guar that we ever got. They were just so aggressive on that album. Everything from the appearance of the band, hence the meanest odorous mask in existence, right down to every single track was just so technical and aggressive and mean and there was breakdowns and it was just a very, very violent Guar record. Easily my favorite Guar record of all time and probably my favorite Guar era per se. I just really, really like the look of the band around that time. So we've got a VHA slash War Party odorous here with all of the beautiful details including yet another scalp rip. And let me tell you, this thing is just fucking pissed. It is so, so mean. A little simpler in terms of the finish. Definitely doesn't have all of the detailed work like the Beyond Hell piece does, but that's just because Odorous's War Party and VHA mask wasn't that technical in terms of the finish. So while the Beyond Hell mask is a little goofier, it is a little more technical. The paint is a little more extravagant, but this mask is far angrier. Just super, super pissed, and I absolutely love that about this thing. Now, we saw this mask used on a plethora of things, including Viva La Bam, which may have been a lot of your first time seeing Guar. I hear that all the time. Yeah, I saw them back on Viva La Bam. Well, this is the mask that he was wearing back then. And now that I have an absolutely perfect replica in my collection, I couldn't be happier. Another reason this is such a big deal to have is because it's such a good replica and you can't get these done by the Slave Pit. According to Matt McGuire over at the Slave Pit, this version of Odorous was meshed from a couple different Odorous masks. It was like an Odorous Frankenstein piece. So there wasn't a set mold. Rocky just kind of threw this thing together as he went and ended up coming up with this thing. And it's also really funny that we went from the angriest odorous possible to a very, very goofy odorous on Beyond Hell. That Beyond Hell mask just had like a Three Stooges look to it. Matt McGuire also told me that they referred to the Beyond Hell mask as Yodorous because it had a lot of similarities to Yoda. And we all know that Yoda isn't scary. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck it all! Fuck this shit! Okay, beefcake. I don't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> that, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, just wanted to quickly showcase this piece, show it off to you guys, and give Lonnie yet another big, big thank you. I could not be more honored to have this in my collection. And trust me when I say that these things are going to look absolutely fantastic looking over the Guar collection. And I definitely can't wait to get them up in there. So I think that is going to just about do it for this video. As always, I'm going to leave you guys with some nice up close shots of this unbelievable piece. I will go ahead and show them off together since I can't quite show them off in the Guar collection yet and that will be that. Once we get all this stuff arranged in the collection itself, I plan to do yet another Guar collection update, but until then, this will have to do. So, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it and until next time, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to Guar and we will see you guys later.